show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it, it seems like the walls are starting to close in on former POTUS, Blotus. <laughs> the January 6th committee continues to gather damning evidence. The Justice Department is continuing their investigation of the classified documents he was hoarding down in Mar-a-Lago. Guarded, no doubt, by his crack security team of croquet-playing orthodontists who are actually Chinese spies. <laughs> and recently, New York Attorney General Letitia James filed a suit <laughs> to keep him from doing business in New York. I'd say that's enough to drive his lawyer to drink, but I'm pretty sure that ship has sailed. <laughs> now, to find out... To find out the, if the former president is dealing with all of this, I wanted to send a reporter to Mar-a-Lago. But forcing a journalist to spend time near the former president seems inhumane. <laughs> Fortunately, I know some reporters who aren't human. The team at Comedy Central's Tuning Out the News. Their new season starts tomorrow after The Daily Show on another network, which I already told you is Comedy Central. So joining us now from Florida, the host of the conservative shout-tainment show Hot Take, Tyler Templeton. Thank you for joining us, Tyler. Great to be here, Stephen. Now, Tyler, it's certainly true that you and I don't see eye-to-eye -eye on every issue. You're a staunch supporter of the former president. How and... dare you! I do not support former President Barack Obama. I support the current president, Donald Trump. Or are you so blinded by your ideology that you can't accept that he's president and 50 feet tall? Well... <laughs> you cannot deny the former president is under investigation on multiple fronts. You're down there on the ground. Do you have a sense of, of the panic inside Mar-a-Lago? Panic? Quite the opposite, Stephen. Everyone in Trump world is doing great. Right now, they're actually having a rockin' party here where the theme is nervously pacing and muttering, I can't go to jail. <laughs> Sounds fun, but, but shouldn't, shouldn't he be a, a little worried? How will he possibly defend himself when he got caught red-handed with classified documents stored in a completely unprotected environment? Don't get hysterical, Stephen. Those documents were fortified behind his state-of-the-art, ultra-secure doorknob. And even if guests located the knob, how would they know which way to turn it? Now, with all these problems mounting, do you think the former president can make a run in 2024? It seems like he has competition there in Florida from Governor Ron DeSantis. Oh, my God! Don't make me pick between Trump and DeSantis! Why can't we have two presidents? We had two bachelorettes. Yes, I watched Gabby and Rachel's entire journey. But it was on TV at the gym. I swear. Ow! Son of a bitch! Tyler, did you just get hit in the head with a croquet ball? Hello? Tyler, are you there? Yeah. How's it going, man? It's going fine, Tyler. We're trying to get a report from Mar-a-Lago. That's awesome. Where are we taking it from? <laughs> We're going to you, Tyler. Have you been into Mar-a-Lago to see what's going on in there? Yes. <laughs> and do you want to tell us what's happening in there? Or is, this, is there some reason you don't want to oh. actually inform us as to what's happening in Mar-a-Lago? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Liberal Yes! Law. Yes, you're a reporter. <laughs> I would like to know what's happening. They, well, they've unjustly taken stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Files that say classified and, and top secret on it. That, that's How? not unjustly. It's the Justice Department that did it. That is, that is the justice. Well, how would you... So, hold on a second. You're telling me that you know it says classified and justified on it? That must mean that you are behind this somehow. <laughs> no, I saw the photographs that the Justice Department put out. Oh, yeah. Where was that? Inside of Joe Biden's room? Don't laugh. I think we're not laughing, Tyler. We're not laughing at you. We're, we're laughing with you, Tyler. Oh. Well, I think we're having a little satellite issues here with you, Tyler. We're, we're not... Some of your words don't have meanings in them. Hold on, Stephen. I have just received exclusive breaking news that our series, Turning Out the News, will premiere tomorrow night on Comedy Central right after The Daily Show. That's not breaking news, Tyler. I said that earlier. Great. 
Sounds like we have a second source confirming my report, and turning out the news will deliver even more up-to-the-minute cartoon coverage of the biggest stories. Just take a look at this clip of my colleague, liberal warrior Kylie Weaver, sitting down with Secretary Pete Buttigieg. Well, there is one thing we know for sure. It's great that Joe Biden's approval rating is on the rise and there's no need for the party in 2024 to rally behind a young, vibrant, gay, transformative political figure. <laughs> That's right, we have a great president. Mm hmm I mean, where would we even find someone like that? Like that person I mentioned. I mean, they don't even exist. It's impossible. And even if we did find them, would they have the courage to seize this singular moment in history? Or just a great day job that they want to, you know, continue mm -hmm. Well, doing. luckily, we don't have to worry about that. We're not in an ironic divine hell where the better we do at our job, the better it is for our boss, and the further we get from fulfilling our destiny. Right. Exactly. We're on the exact same page, bestie. Thank you, Tyler and Kylie. Check out Tuning Out the News on Comedy Central starting tomorrow. We'll be right back.